Hello everybody, Apu here from Zoomcoder.com. Uh, today I'll be reviewing iOS 6 Beta 1 on the iPad 2 here. Uh, I have the same iOS 6 on my iPhone right there, but uh, we'll do a review on all of them later. So let's just take the iPad out first. Okay, here it is, uh, cancelled. So, nothing much on the lock screen on here. There's a difference on the iPhone, which we'll show you later. Let me just enter my passcode. I, so, on the home screen of the iPad, there aren't any more new apps except the clock app and an updated maps icon and a settings icon. Uh, on the iPhone, there is a new application on the home screen called Passbook, which, you know, stores all your tickets for movies, your boarding passes, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so when the iPad first came out, the first iPad uh, in 2010, they it never had a clock app or a weather's app or a calculator built in. And now in iOS 6 in 2012, they have finally given us just a damn clocks app, which, bear in mind, is fantastic. So you've got your notification center. As you can see, un momento, por favor. There's someone's birthday there. Okay, we'll sort that out later. Anyways, so as you can see, photos, calendar, notes, reminders, maps. Here's the new maps app. Uh, there is a 3D button down there, but it's grayed out. I mean, you cannot click it, so. But uh, the developers have found a way to get 3D maps on the iPhone 4 and uh, 3GS. So we'll have to see how that goes. Same old, it's not exactly the same old maps app as you can see now, it's data from TomTom. Tom. And Blackberry also uses TomTom. Tom. Focus camera, there. You can drop print, you can report a problem, others print, show traffic. And just zoom in a bit. Okay. Right, never mind that stuff. So as you can see, and it's sort of like a globe because, as you see, you just sort of glide from one place to another. So that's a nice touch. And as you can see, <laughs> it's a bit buggy, considering this is a beta. YouTube, same old, same old, nothing new there. Same old YouTube. Clock, that's an app we all have been waiting for. And the interface is fantastic. Have a look. You have each and every clock up top right there. You can see New Delhi, Los Angeles, New York, Paris, Oklahoma City, San Francisco. And down here it also shows the weather. As you can see, San Francisco, it's 19 degrees Celsius right at the moment, apparently. Uh, Los Angeles is 20, New York's 26, Paris is 16 with slight rain. New Delhi is 34 with nothing. And down at the bottom, you have like a normal clock app you have the alarm you have world clock alarm focus god sorry about my camera guys alarm stopwatch and timer so let's just dig into alarm for a second as you can see this is a fantastic little app and you've got a little on button right there which is great out because i have no alarm set so let's set one add Say I want to set one for 10, 15 a.m. sound. Let's put it to strum. I like strum. Yeah, yeah. Repeat on every Saturday and Sunday. Just giving an example, guys. And save. So as you can see, it says what time of alarm I want. And then you get this amazing little graph kind of view, which you can scroll through, which is 12 a.m. to 12 a.m and all your alarms come up there so if i want to set another alarm say for one there it is 1 a.m 10 p.m you can edit them from here so if i want to delete it i just tap tap they're gone next we have the stopwatch which looks really nice honestly it looks like more like a techno G dj table kind of thing so if i lap number turn it on lap stop then you got that then i can reset it blah 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 you can split also which is now grayed out then here you have the timer, so blah, let's keep a timer for the video of uh, five minutes, that sounds nice. Started. So choose a sound, I'd like strum please, set, go back. 
Now, videos, same old, you just got nothing new. Got a few videos, which, whatever. Contact, same old, Game Center, we all know what it is. Nothing new or fancy down there. Um, I don't really use it much. Last I used it was, I don't know how long ago iTunes, definitely some changes. The whole store has been redesigned, like the App Store. As you can see, now it's all a dark gray gunmetal kind of interface. As you can see, down there it's all nicely done. Then you have the App Store. Right there. App Store has also been redesigned. I, as, uh, personally, I love the top charts section, which is not loading at the moment. Okay, there it is. So as you can see, now you have top paid iPad apps and top free iPad apps. These two categories were always there. Top grossing iPad apps. That was never there, was it? And normal Apple style, you just scroll and the whole page would go down. But not this time. Whoops. Only one thing scrolling. As you can see, it's like a slot machine. So, you know you have categories like I just want to see a top paid I'll only scroll there only want to see top free I only scroll here only want to see top grossing I only scroll there oh there it's like a slot machine <laughs> anyways then you got your newsstand which is nothing different you know stores there settings has a few different uh, things now as you can see it has the do not disturb thing so if I just turn that quickly on I get a little moon half uh, crescent I think and if you want to change settings for that, you got to go into notifications, do not disturb, and you can choose everything from here. And it actually says allow calls from favorites. Same thing that it says on my damn iPhone. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, let me just do edit, and let me just drag everything down so I can show you notification center. Nothing personal there. Done. General has um, nothing new here. Same old, same old sounds, you got nothing new. Brightness and wallpaper, you got a few new wallpapers there, which are the iPad 3 wallpapers up top, the first three. And picture frame, same old, you got a new tab for privacy, and privacy, whatever you guys want to call it. <laughs> then Twitter and Facebook built in right here, as you can see, right? Um, messages, you can reach me at poorv at zamkato.com if you would like to talk to me about anything. And let's just have a look at Notification Center real quick. All right, there. So, up top, you, you have to first go into settings and enable these like I had to, but whatever. So if I wanna tweet something out, I click tap to tweet. Get a little nice cute dialogue and I'll type, making a video review for iOS 6. Send. You get the little sound, it's gone. Tap to post on Facebook. Making a video review for iOS 6. Post. Gone. You get that message sound. Um, you got a new icon for settings, as I said before. Really nice icon. Same for maps. Clock. FaceTime has nothing new, photo boot, no new effects, which is very bad. Here is the camera app. It's somewhat like the original, uh, the iPad 3 app, which is quite nice, as you can see. You got your camera button there, your picture library there, options, which turn on the grid, right there. You can barely see it there. And you can switch camera views from there. Say hi, guys and video camera, so pretty simple stuff. Uh, besides that, guys, um, there's nothing much that's new here at the moment because the iPad 3 is the one that has all the main stuff working. It has Siri and whatnot. The iPad 2 barely gets anything. Um, in that case, the iPhone 4 gets more, honestly. So wait up for a review of the iPhone 4. See, uh, iOS 6 on the iPhone 4. There it is, really nice. Um, so let me see if I can show you something real quick. I really can't right now. Anyways, so cheers guys, and uh, look up on zumcado.com for more. Gracias.